Warner Brothers Discovery Inc. is making a big push into Asia with its streaming service, Max. The company sees huge potential in the region. Many Asian consumers are eager for high-quality entertainment. Max aims to become a major player in this rapidly growing market. The service will offer a wide range of content including movies, TV shows and documentaries. Max will be available in several Asian countries. These include Hong Kong, Taiwan, Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines. Warner Brothers Discovery is confident that Max will be a success in Asia. The company is investing heavily in marketing and promotion. It is also partnering with local companies to reach more customers. The launch of Max is a significant development for the streaming industry in Asia. It is likely to intensify competition among streaming services. This could benefit consumers as companies compete for their attention. The arrival of Max comes at an interesting time for the Asian streaming market. Some major players are scaling back their investments in the region. Amazon.com Inc., for example, has decided to stop producing original content in India. Similarly, Walt Disney Company is pulling back from some of its international streaming operations. This is partly due to the challenging economic climate. The retreat of these giants has created an opportunity for Max. With fewer competitors vying for viewers, Max has a better chance of standing out. Warner Brothers Discovery is hoping to capitalize on this opening. The company believes that its strong brand and diverse content library will give it an edge. It remains to be seen whether Max can fill the void left by Amazon and Disney. One of Max's biggest strengths is its vast library of content. The service boasts a diverse collection of movies and TV shows. Subscribers will have access to popular franchises like Harry Potter, Friends and the DC Universe. These titles have a huge following in Asia and are sure to attract viewers. This gives Max a competitive advantage over other streaming services. In addition to these global hits, Max will also offer local language content. This includes movies and shows produced in Asian countries. This focus on local content is crucial for attracting viewers in specific regions. By catering to local tastes, Max can appeal to a wider audience. The combination of global franchises and local productions makes Max's content library very appealing. Max understands that viewers consume content on various devices. To cater to this, the service offers different subscription options. Users can choose plans that suit their needs and budgets. One option is a mobile-only plan. This is a more affordable option that allows streaming on smartphones and tablets. It is ideal for users who are always on the go. For viewers who prefer watching on larger screens, Max offers a standard plan. This allows streaming on TVs, computers and other devices. The standard plan offers higher video quality and more features. Max's flexibility in subscription options makes it accessible to a wider audience. It allows users to choose the plan that best fits their viewing habits and budget. Section 5. A Dragon's Share of the Market The launch of Max has the potential to significantly impact the Asian streaming market. The region is home to a massive and growing population of entertainment consumers. With its strong brand and attractive content library, Max is well positioned to capture a significant share of this market. However, it faces challenges in penetrating such a diverse and dynamic region. Success will depend on various factors. These include pricing strategies, marketing efforts, and the ability to secure local partnerships. Warner Brothers Discovery 
will need to carefully navigate these complexities. Understanding local nuances and consumer preferences will be crucial for Max to thrive. The company's ability to adapt to local market conditions will determine its long-term success in Asia. Section 6. Hong Kong and Taiwan A familiar stage. Hong Kong and Taiwan represent mature markets for streaming services. Consumers in these regions are already familiar with the concept of online entertainment. Both territories have a high penetration of broadband internet and smartphone usage. This makes them ideal markets for streaming services like Max. However, Max will face stiff competition from established players. Netflix, Disney Plus and other regional services are already operating in these markets. To succeed, Max will need to offer a compelling value proposition. This could include competitive pricing, exclusive content, or a superior user experience. The battle for subscribers in Hong Kong and Taiwan will be fierce. Section 7. Southeast Asia – A Sea of Opportunity Southeast Asia presents a different set of opportunities and challenges for Max. The region is characterized by rapid economic growth and a young, tech-savvy population. This makes it a prime target for streaming services. However, Southeast Asia is also a highly fragmented market. Each country has its own unique cultural preferences and language. This means that Max will need to adopt a localized approach. Offering content in local languages and partnering with local production companies will be crucial. Understanding the nuances of each market will be key to Max's success in Southeast Asia. By catering to local tastes, Max can tap into the region's vast potential. Section 8. A new era for Asian entertainment. The arrival of Max could mark the beginning of a new era for Asian entertainment. The streaming service's focus on local content production could empower local filmmakers and storytellers. This could lead to a greater diversity of voices and perspectives in Asian cinema and television. Moreover, Max's investment in the region could inspire other global players to follow suit. This could further boost the Asian entertainment industry creating more opportunities for local talent. The increased competition could also benefit consumers by driving innovation and improving the quality of streaming services. The launch of Max could have a ripple effect throughout the Asian entertainment landscape. Section 9. The future of streaming in Asia. The future of streaming in Asia looks bright the region's growing middle class, coupled with increasing internet penetration, is driving demand for online entertainment. Streaming services like Max are well positioned to capitalize on this trend. However, the market is becoming increasingly competitive. To succeed, streaming services will need to offer compelling content, competitive pricing, and a seamless user experience. The ability to cater to local tastes and preferences will be crucial. As the market matures, we can expect to see more innovation and consolidation in the Asian streaming industry. The battle for viewers' attention is just beginning.